What's up ladies and gents and welcome to the one and only Potato Monsters Top 5 Plays found here on YouTube. We have a great lineup for you guys this week so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Starting off this episode we have Carter's one on Ziggs but with most of his team down he realizes they're doing Baron so he makes his way over there and once he gains vision on them they charge him as Nautilus lands a dredge line into an ultimate but with Shen coming in he turns around throwing down his ultimate and a Q annihilating the enemy team for a triple and then Shen taunts the enemy Ziggs and despite his efforts Carter's picks up the quad. Coming in at 4th place for your screwboy Toxicis on Israel, and it's our first clip submitted using the new Spectator UI, so let us know what you think and your thoughts on Riot building a built-in recording system that will capture every game you play. Coming back to the clip, Ezreal gets pulled in and the enemy team jumps onto him, but he arcane shifts out and immediately goes back in, always hitting whoever he can at a safe distance. As Baron's health winds down, he gets on Graves knowing that killing their top DPS will keep Baron alive, and by now the enemy team is panicking. Some of them charge him to try to finish him off so that he doesn't get Baron, and the rest try to finish it off, resulting in a quad for Ez. At our number 3 spot is Penny79 on Mord, and we jump right into this battle as you see his team is behind, but he goes balls to the wall, straight in for the fat enemy carry Graves, immediately bursting him down with his ultimate, followed by Flash E and Q as he dips down to under 100 health, but his W continues to deal damage, and keep his shield up against Blitz and Mundo as he turns to fight them with his ghost, dealing massive damage and just barely staying alive until Cash finishes off Scarlet and Flash E's him, depleting his shield as it instantly goes back up, killing Mundo, then turning to Blitz with his minion on Cash for the back-to-back -back triple and then quad, and finally he goes down after picking up 5 kills in an amazing survival story against all odds. Yeah. Scoring in at second place is Ye of the Night Group on TF, and I apologize if that isn't exactly correct. Google Translate can only take you so far. Jumping into things, the gold cards poppy, followed by fantastic wild cards, hitting all four enemy players despite them being staggered, and then shutting Nelly Sin for his first kill. Following that, he plans out what he can do here as he positions himself for another great Q, picking up the double and immediately porting right behind the enemies, coming down and landing his W on Poppy, followed by a Q for the triple, and right after that, an auto attack for the quad. He turned the lost team fight into a 4 for one exchange with some brilliantly placed cards and a nice ultimate to secure it. Well played. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Abdullah Ablungada on Riven, and they managed to stop the enemy team's Baron attempt, so now with the enemy team retreating back, he decides to risk it all. Waiting for the right moment to get on the enemy carries, he ulties and flashes over the wall, immediately using his Q, hitting them repeatedly, and then ulting everyone but Nautilus for the one-shot triple with Wind Slash. His team hunts down Nautilus as they all surround him, and Warwick ults to secure it. What a turn of tides in this game, all thanks to the excellent but risky one-man dive in on the enemy team. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have not even close X on Nunu, and at the start we see that the enemy players are thanking them for a free Baron, and the friendly Sona realizes something must be up. She CVs pretty far behind them, granting vision of the entire enemy team stacked in a brush and waiting for them to come over to check Baron. Knowing that they're still in there, Nunu inches over as close as he can, making sure he doesn't come out as he starts up absolute zero and a charm goes out, but Nunu's ult one shots Ari as his team proceeds to go all out, slamming into the enemy team as a fantastic Sona ult helps hold them in place. They burn through two Guardian Angels and pick up a couple more kills via chasing the hilarious counter gank that would have left me breathless as an enemy player. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful weekend.